Welcome back, this is Maurice Bimba, and today I want just to show you how we can create, uh, we can generate drawings from columns and beams and also on the foundation basis here and also on the slab. So, how do you go about that? Then first of all, get rid of, or uh, get rid of these or hide the uh, forces. Uh, let me pick on none. So, if I come to design here and come if i come to drawings if i come to draw then come to then come to i come here and select the individual member like column in, in our case so if i select this column uh, left uh, uh, left click then right click and come to and come to create drawings so if i come to create drawings here let's just scroll down and if i come to create a drawing or generate drawing i'll just click on that spot and uh, i'll just drag this dialog box to a position that i'll be able to see clearly so what i'm going to create here i have configurations here i can pick uh, I've just uh, by default because we've selected column this uh, configuration re remains at column detail so the scale we can play around with and uh, layer style we can remain with only that because and also the text is spacing we can adjust that to our preference but i'll just retain it at default so in this case i'm going to click uh, okay so once i've clicked okay the drawings will be generated automatically in auto so let's just give some time for the drawings to be generated so if taken on my, on my on my left side, you can see the drawing already in place. So you can see this. We've generated uh, the this drawing for this column all the way. You can see even the the steel bar has been taken all the way to the to the column base at the bottom end there. So you can see at this level we have all the detail and all the way to uh, uh, to this level, we have the, all the details here. You can see 1.1 all the way from zero level. You can see that. So if you come to the first floor here, we, can, we, we have this height here. We have the height labeled here as uh, 3200, and we can we move all the way to, to this far end. All these levels are the same. So if you come here, we can see we will have the full height indicated, but in this case, it has not been indicated, but we, we assume this is the utmost height of our building. You can see all some details on this far end here. We see all the weights of the steel. We have all the weights of the steel here, like one go. We can generate, you, you can see the, all the weights for this particular column. The weights for the steel we have is 75.6 kilograms or kgs. So that's how you, you do that. And all the lengths we have, total lengths we have here is 61.6. We have all the bending, all the bending, or, or all the sections of this particular column. You can see all the details here. So that's how you generate drawings on individual members of a particular model. So that's that's how you go around that. And uh, let's move then on the next on the next presentation. We'll be we'll be doing on how we can generate drawings. Uh, from slab. So let's go back to a Tecla, stru uh, Tecla structural designer so that we generate also for the for the beams. So if I click on that, then come back and, and select on the beam here. So if I select on the beam, then right click and come right click and come to generate drawing. If I click on that and uh, maybe uh, change change whatever I, I can here, in, uh, maybe scale and the text height. Uh, I'll, leave, I'll leave as I'll leave it. I'll leave everything in this case uh, as, as it is. So I'll go ahead and click OK. So I'll give me some time to generate the drawings. So remember to generate drawings. Uh, you have to install AutoCAD so that you'll be able to open these drawings uh, easy as uh, as it look. In my case here, as you can see, I've I've generated a beam a drawing. So in this particular case, all the details have been included here so it's some bits of, of rearrangement if you have your title block in place you can rearrange this to fit fit all these details in your title block so you can see all this you can see the detail for the for the beam i have here so this is what uh, this is how easy it is when you intend to create drawings in a technical structural designer and uh, the, the only thing remaining is, is uh, here just to rearrange these drawings uh, uh, to fit into your title block and you're done. 
So th this is how simple it is. And let's spin then on, on how we will be uh, creating bending schedules for, for the beam and the columns. So let's meet then on the, ne on the next presentation. I'm Osdumba, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and bye-bye.